Hello to everyone. This is Shantan Kumar, Assistant Professor, Department of Mathematics, Institute of Aeronautical Engineering, Dundigal, Hyderabad. Today's topic is the uh, eigenvalues of the matrix. Before going to discuss that eigenvalues of the matrix, first of all, we need to find out what is the characteristic equation. Based upon this characteristic equation, only we need to find the eigenvalues. Due to that reason, we are going to discuss that first of all, what is the characteristic equation. For example, let us consider A is a matrix that is a 3 by 3, A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A32, A33. B a square matrix. I is a with respect to the unit matrix of order given matrix that is I3. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, be an identity matrix and also here assume that lambda be a scan. Next, with the help of this the matrix A, lambda, IA, then we need to find what is the matrix of that is A minus lambda I, that is A minus lambda I is called the characteristic matrix. The characteristic matrix is nothing but with the help of A lambda I, that is a, within the bracket A minus lambda I only. Next, with the help of that matrix characteristic, then we need to find out what is a characteristic polynomial. The characteristic polynomial is nothing but the determinant of A minus lambda I. Next, getting the characteristic polynomial, we need to equate the zero it is called the characteristic equation of the matrix. These are the fundamental one by one concept we need to prepare to remember that is a characteristic equation. One is first we need to find out what is the characteristic matrix. Next is the characteristic polynomial and after that what is the characteristic equation. And next one we need to find out with the help of this characteristic equation find the eigenvalues of the matrix that is with respect to eigenvectors and also then write the characteristic equation that is a lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0 and find lambda s1, s2 and s3 and after getting that s1 and s2 and s3 then find the roots of lambda q minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0. Say, let us consider lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. This lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 are called the eigenvalues of the given matrix. For example, if the given matrix is a 2 by 2, then we need to find out the characteristic equation with the help of, that is a data of m, m is lambda i. Then you find the equation, the equation is you obtain, there is a second order only, then you get the two eigenvalues only, consider lambda 1, lambda 2. But in this, we assume that is a, a is a square matrix of order 3. Therefore, by solving the data of a minus lambda i, we need to get that is a third order linear equation, that is a polynomial equation. By solving the third order polynomial equation, we get the three values compulsory. Therefore, the three values are, let us assume, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, these are the eigenvalues of the given matrix. Next one, for example, eigenvalues is also, sometimes it is called as a characteristic roots, latent values, proper roots, and eigenvector is also known as a characteristic vector, latent vector, proper vector of corresponding to the eigenvalues of the lambda of the given matrix. Anyhow, we are going to discuss that next class that is the eigenvectors of the matrix. But now, this class we are going to discuss only based upon the eigenvalues of the given matrix. That means we need to remember when the given matrix is a 3 by 3, according to the characteristic equation, we need to get only the three roots only. If it is a given matrix is a 2, 
order that is by solving the characteristic equation we get only the two eigen values only that is a lambda 1 lambda 2 that means depend upon the given matrix order with respect to we get that depend upon that eigen values of the matrix and again here these are the some of the important eigen values properties we need to remember whatever we are getting the eigen values like lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 here, this is the one of the important to remember the cross verification or remember the point. The sum of the eigenvalues is equal to that is trace of the matrix. As we know that the trace of the matrix is nothing but the given matrix that add that the sum of the diagonal elements. That is the meaning of what we are going to find in the character C equation that solving the roots. The sum of the roots are clearly satisfied the given matrix. That is nothing but the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix. Second one, also important property that is a cross verification or something the check the process. The product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix. That means whatever you are getting that, for example, 3 is a matrix, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3. We need to check it whether lambda 1 into lambda 2 into lambda 3 is equal to the determinant of the given matrix that means the data of the given matrix is satisfied or not. If it is a not satisfied, the determinant of the given matrix entirely that getting the eigenvalues are the not correct process. Similarly, according to this, the first property, the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix. The product of the eigenvalues is equal to the determinant of the matrix. Next one, if one of the eigenvalues is, for example, zero, that means According to the given matrix, when we are going to calculating the debt with the help of the data of a minus lambda i is equal to 0. If we get that one of the i n values lambda i is equal to 0, that means indirectly the given matrix is a debt is equal to 0, such that the given matrix is a satisfied the singular matrix that indirectly it is also called as a given matrix is a linearly dependent of the matrix. At the time, the inverse does not exist because that inverse of the matrix, as we know that, adjoint of a by data. A. If it is a data is equal to zero, means that inverse automatically does not exist. And next, we are going to discuss that some of the examples like properties, whatever. If it is a matrix is in the form of a 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 4 0 0 f 4, this matrix is called as a diagonal matrix. At the time of the diagonal matrix, the eigenvalues are clearly satisfied A, D, F only. That means the given matrix is the diagonal matrix. The eigenvalues of the matrix is the A, D, F. Similarly, for example, the given matrix is the A, B, C, 0, D, E, 0, 0, F. That means this matrix is the name is the upper triangular matrix. That means according to the definition as we discussed previous classes, that upper triangular matrix is nothing but the below the diagonal elements are the zero. If it is a given matrix is a upper triangular matrix satisfied, the eigenvalues of the upper triangular matrix are clearly the diagonal elements. Here the diagonal elements are also clearly A, D, E, F. And similarly, for example, the given matrix is a A0, 0, 0, B, C, 0, D, E, F. Such type of this matrix is a as we discussed previously, this matrix is also clearly the lower triangular matrix. That means, if it is a below the diagonal, above the diagonal elements are 0, such type of the matrix is called as a clearly lower triangular matrix. And here also, the second one, like here it is also, the diagonal elements are, says, that is a A, C, F is a valid. Why? Because according to these three examples, that is the three forms, the, if it is a given matrix is the diagonal matrix, the eigenvalues are clearly the diagonal elements. If the matrix is an upper triangular matrix, the diagonal elements are the diagonal elements. And the, if the given matrix is a lower triangular matrix, here also the eigenvalues are the clearly the diagonal elements. And some of that other examples here, for example, the 2 by 2 is also, it is also clearly the diagonal matrix. Therefore, the eigenvalues are also here, A comma B. And second one, similarly, if the matrix is a A, B, 0, D, and here it is also that is called as a lower triangular matrix or upper triangular matrix. Therefore, it is also the elements are the AD 
and another condition if the matrix is also a0 bc this matrix is also clearly satisfied that is a lower triangular matrix because of the above the diagonal elements are zero therefore here also the eigen values are clearly what it is here a c is the value and similarly here these are also one of the example if it is a matrix is a according to the lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 are the eigen values then the matrix eigen values of a is equal to clearly minus 1 2 5 it is a a transpose is equal to for example lambda 1 power transpose lambda 2 lambda 3 corresponding here also minus 1 whole power transpose minus 2 for example these are also clearly if you are observing this is the matrix that means it is a is equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 are the given matrix eigen values that is considered minus 1 2 5 are the eigen values and the transpose of the eigen values is equal to that is a a transpose is equal to interchange like minus 1 2 5 it is a constant there is no change and if it is a eigen values are k into a therefore k is a constant k into lambda 1 k into lambda 2 and k into lambda 3 is nothing but k into minus 1 is a that is a 4 into minus 1 is a minus 4 here minus 4 into 2 is a that is a 4 into that 2 is a 8 and 4 into 5 is a 20 that means whenever the given matrix the eigen values are a automatically the eigen values are also changed that inter uh, transpose of the eigen values are also there is no change for example a is equal to lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 the product the constant multiplication of the eigen values is also corresponding we need to change that correspond that uh, constant multiplication the eigen value for example we are going to discuss that find the eigen values of the corresponding of the eigen vectors here it is actually eigen vectors we are going to discuss the latter now we need to find out according to the eigen values of the matrix only First of all, before going to finding the eigenvalues of the given matrix, according to the procedure, we need to find out what is the characteristic equation. That is, according to the characteristic equation, here this matrix is a 3 by 3. Therefore, we need to get in the form of that is a lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S1 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0, where here S1 is equal to that is a trace of the matrix that is nothing but according to the trace of the matrix is nothing but the sum of the diagonal elements here the diagonal elements are 5 1 0 therefore 5 plus 1 plus 0 is equal to that is a 6 only now we need to find out what is a s2 that s2 is nothing but sum of the minus of the principal diagonal elements and according to sum of the minus of the principal diagonals are nothing but here the first value is a 5 therefore we need to find out what is a corresponding 5 value that is a after uh, neglecting that 5, the data of that S2 is equal to that is a, uh, the S2 is equal to that is a 1, 0, 1, 0. And again, next one, it is a minus half, that is a 5 into, that is a minus 7, 0. And again, last one is also according to that condition, 5, 0, 1, 1. Therefore, we need to add that this is the sum of the minus of the principal diagonal elements. Therefore, finally, we got it that S2 is equal to according to by using this is the data value, that 0 plus 7 plus 5 is equal to 12. Therefore, that S1 is nothing but that is a trace of the matrix that is a sum of the diagonal and S2 is equal to the sum of the minus of the diagonal elements. And now we need to find out what is the S3. That S3 is nothing but we need to find that entirely the given matrix data. Therefore, the data of the given matrix is equal to according to here the value is equal to 8 only. Therefore, after getting this S1 and S2, S3, we need to replace in that consider that is a characteristic equation. Therefore, that first equation is reduced to clearly that is L1 lambda cube minus S1 lambda square plus S1 S2 lambda minus S3 is equal to 0 is reduced to that is in the form of that is lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 12 lambda minus 8 is equal to 0 because of here S1 is equal to 6, S2 is equal to 12 and S3 is equal to 8 is a value. Therefore, by solving this equation, this equation is nothing but characteristic equation. Therefore, by solving this is the characteristic equation, that is nothing but by replacement of lambda is equal to in the second equation, we get clearly that value is equal to 0. That means one of the eigenvalues is equal to that is a lambda is equal to 2 only. And similarly, we need to find out what is a second root and also third root. The second root is also calculated with the help of that 
according to that synthetic division that is a coefficient of the lambda cube lambda square and lambda and a constant corresponding that is 1 minus 6 12 minus 8 and already as we know that lambda is equal to one of the equation therefore according to this is the condition we solve that clearly and again once again one more second root is also we need to find out what is the value of the second root therefore it is also clearly second degree is also by using the synthetic division that is a lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 and next to here within the bracket that is a second order equation is also as we know that that is a lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 by solving this is a lambda square minus 4 lambda plus 4 is equal to 0 clearly the roots are the lambda is equal to 2 and lambda is equal to 2 that means entirely in this matrices that is a roots are clearly lambda minus 2 lambda minus 2 and lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 that is nothing but lambda is equal to 2 or lambda is equal to minus 2 is equal to 0 or one other lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 therefore the solutions are clearly lambda is equal to 2 comma 2 comma 2 these are the three eigenvalues whether these eigenvalues are correct or wrong that we need to understand according to just I discuss here the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix here the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the 2 plus 2 plus 2 is equal to 6 therefore the given matrix the sum is also clearly satisfied the 6 and if we need to cross verification that is a product of the eigenvalues here it is a 2 into 2 into 2 that is a 8 therefore the determinant of the given matrix is also clearly satisfied the 8 is a condition and similarly now we discuss the problem one another find the eigenvalues here corresponding eigenvectors we need to latter only now we need to find out what is the eigenvalues of the given matrix only here also first of all we need to find out what is the characteristic equation that is with the help of that lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0 where as we know that previously just now completed s1 is nothing but the trace of the matrix but in this problem the trace of is nothing but 0 plus 0 plus 0 that is nothing but 0 only this is the meaning of the trace of the matrix is equal to 0 that means s1 is equal to 0 and second one same as it is that is s2 we need to find out what is the sum of the minus of the principal diagonal that principal sum of the principal diagonal is nothing but here it is the first diagonal is a s1 that is a 0 we need to find out what is a that is a 0 corresponding that is 0 into 0 1 1 0 and second one second element that is a principal that is a minor it is nothing but after neglecting that is a corresponding second row and second column the remaining value is a 0 1 1 0 and similarly we need to find out what is a last element the corresponding minor that is after neglecting that is a 1 1 0 and 1 1 0 therefore the remaining matrix is a 0 1 1 0 now we add that these are the three matrices therefore you need to find out what is a determinant of this matrix and clearly this matrix s2 is equal to that sum of the minus is equal to clearly minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 it is nothing but it is a total together it is a minus 3 only value this is the s2 is equal to the sum of the the minus of the given matrix and similarly we need to find out what is a s3 that s3 is equal to as we know that that is a data of the given matrix the data of the matrix is clearly 0 into 0 minus 1 minus 1 into 0 minus 1 plus 1 into 1 minus n therefore the value of the s3 is equal to that is the value is a 2 only value therefore this is the after getting this is the s1 and s2 and s3 in that characteristic equation whatever we assume therefore that is a lambda cube minus s1 lambda square plus s2 lambda minus s3 is equal to 0 after replacing in this equation that is s1 s2 s3 corresponding that is 0 minus 3 minus 2 then the equation is reduced to that is a lambda cube minus 0 into lambda square minus 3 lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 and finally the equation is a uh, by solving this equation that means we assume that is a lambda is equal to minus 1 in this equation automatically one of the root it is satisfied because of by replacement of this equation it is a uh, lambda minus 1 is equal to 0 is clearly satisfied therefore it is a lambda is equal to minus 1 is one of the root of the given equation and similarly we need to find out what about other the two roots of the equation 
and at this time we need to follow with the help of the synthetic division here at the time of the synthetic division we need to follow strictly according to that coefficient of lambda cube lambda square lambda and constant as we completed already lambda is equal to minus 1 that is clearly satisfied therefore we need to find out what about that other two values according to by taking one other condition it is nothing but you assume that lambda is equal to here also that is a lambda cube minus lambda square minus 2 lambda is equal to 0 by solving that lambda square minus lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 again by replacement of it is equal to according to that quadratic equation or something by using the factorization method it is a lambda minus 2 and lambda plus 1 it is also the other two roots are satisfied therefore in this equation one of the root is lambda plus 1 is equal to 0 as we know that previously that is a lambda is equal to minus 1 otherwise lambda minus 2 is equal to 0 that lambda is equal to 2 and next one is a lambda plus 1 is equal to 0 that is nothing but lambda is equal to minus 1 therefore here lambda is equal to minus 1 and 2 minus 1 these are the eigenvalues of the given matrix and again if it is here also if it is a cross verification or a, a checking process you need to check it it is the sum of the eigenvalues is equal to the trace of the matrix it is a minus 1 plus 2 minus 1 is equal to the trace of the matrix is also satisfied 0 and other way it is a product of the eigenvalues is equal to but it is a product of the eigenvalues is nothing but minus 1 into 2 into minus 1 is nothing but it is a 2 only the determinant of the given matrix is also clear, satisfied clearly that is a 2 only and again here now you need to find and identify whatever the eigenvalues of the given matrix here for example this is the matrix is a minus 5 4 34 0 0 4 0 0 4 here clearly according to the matrix is upper triangular matrix by the definition or by the property of the given matrix is satisfied with the upper triangular matrix automatically the eigenvalues of the upper triangular matrix are also satisfied that is the diagonal elements here the diagonal elements are clearly minus 5 0 4 only therefore according to this property it is clearly satisfied if it is a given matrix is a upper triangular matrix the eigenvalues are also clearly satisfied the diagonal elements Next coming to point that is the second one other one find the eigenvalues of the matrix is equal to that is a 3 1 4 0 2 6 0 0 5 now we are going to discuss only the eigenvalues only therefore in this matrix also clearly satisfied the upper triangular matrix because of the below the diagonal elements are the 0 therefore here the diagonal elements are clearly satisfied 3 2 5 therefore the eigenvalues of the upper triangular matrix is nothing but according to the property 3 comma 2 comma 5 only thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates